Now, why integrate ICT in teaching and learning? ICT has become a priority not only for any government. It has become one of the various things and priorities in the international communities. UNDP considers ICT as an enabler of progress in education. Likewise, the Asian Development Bank reported that modern ICT has the potential in reducing poverty in Asia and Pacific. ADB's ICT initiatives in education highlight projects and improving skills training in poor rural areas. Specifically, it includes ICT components like assessment, training, e-learning, systems development, and among others. Similarly, the World Bank promotes access and use of ICT to stimulate sustainable economic growth, improve service delivery, and promote good government and social accountability. World Bank's program on ICT focuses on three pillars, infrastructure, skills development, and the use of ICT applications in specific sectors and contexts like education. Moreover, UNESCO believes that ICT can address the challenge faced in teacher education. UNESCO has initiatives related to the use of ICT in teacher education by supporting existing teacher development communities of practice, multi-stakeholder partnerships, capability building of policy makers, and the development of international standards and ICT competencies for teachers. In the study of TAN in 2011 concludes, higher education institutions should try to capitalize on the 21st century tools and technologies to address 21st century issues and challenges. The use of ICT in education is apparently not a new rally for improvement of teaching and learning. Teaching and learning with ICT is highly prioritized with moderate degree of implementation in many higher education institutions in the Philippines. In my study in 2012, in another study of mine, among non-ICT teachers showed that the respondents have high level of familiarity with ICT tools. There is a slight infusion of ICT in the policy, classroom organization and management, pedagogy, assessment, professional development, and social and ethical aspects in higher education. There are many pieces of evidences that the use of ICT in education provide useful pedagogical, social, and economic benefits. YA, in 2005, reported that the education sector garnered 20% of Asia's top IT using institution. ICT in education is undeniably having produced significant positive impact. ICT is changing the developed world's attitudes and approaches to education. Education becomes more flexible, accommodating, and increases the range of potential learners. E-learning, blended learning, open and distance learning, learner-centered environment, and mobile learning are just a few significant changes in educational system. ICT changes the way students learn, the way teachers teach, and the way school operates. The use of ICT in education is a unique opportunity for teachers. It provides significant benefits to the teachers as well as learners and other stakeholders. These benefits include collaborative and inter interactive teaching, cost reduction, self-paced training, knowledge consistency, time and place independence, and access to a global audience. It transforms pedagogy. Likewise, ICT provides significant pedagogical benefits such as promoting active learning, providing students with competencies and technological skills, stimulating students in collaborative and project-based learning, providing students with customized instructions, addressing issues of equity for students, breaking down the walls of the classroom, and improving the social cohesiveness and understanding. ICT also offers 
the provision of qualitative access to education. It promotes sound, sustainable strategy. Further, ICT promotes changes in attitudes, behavior, and values, as well as in the cognitive and perceptive processes. ICT is a knowledge construction tool helpful in achieving authentic and realistic problem-based approaches to teaching and learning.